This free tool is going to make you better at marketing. I have built you a template in which you can run your entire marketing department. If you are a small brand, a startup, or you are doing your marketing for yourself, you need the best tools and the best processes in order to be successful. I have built you a fully bespoke template within Notion that you can build your entirety of your marketing department around, whether you are just starting out, whether you are slightly established, or whether you're even a huge brand. I'm going to show you how to use that and you can grab it for free now. I'm Gina. I'm a marketing director from South London. I've spent the last 15 years working in startups and small companies, growing brands from just their concept all the way to millions in valuation. I know that good marketing doesn't mean big budgets, big time, big resource. It means getting the basics down perfectly and growing from there. I started this YouTube channel so I can give you the tips, tricks and ways of working that I've learned over the last 15 years. And I've also built you a bespoke tool that is the only tool you will need to run every single aspect of your marketing. And I'm going to take you through exactly how to use that and grab it as well and learn as we go. So this is the only tool you will ever need if you are a small business, a startup or do marketing yourself and it's completely free. So what I need you to do is to head to the description of this video and follow the link that will take you to this landing page for your completely free, fully bespoke, built for you Notion template. Now, the first thing you're going to do is click on this button here in the top right hand corner. This will duplicate this template for you so you have your own to start with from scratch. Now, if you are new to Notion, follow this link to sign up. If you already have Notion, it will fall into your private pages and you will have your own version of this that is nice and clean and you can change anything. If you have never used this tool before, let me put you onto the best tool in the business. Notion is everything you could ever want. It is a Wikipedia. It is a way to hold information. It is a database. It is a brand book. Everything that I build you for free on this channel will be built in Notion and I have never paid a penny for Notion despite running a marketing department that drives about 90 million in revenue every year. So Notion is easy to use as it is free form. You can type into it, but let's get started on why this template is amazing. So this template is built with absolutely everything that you need to run your entire marketing department. As we go down, you'll see this is built out of different sections that all feed into you managing every single aspect of your marketing across planning, across content, across the data and metrics. So you can do everything in one place. If we start at the top and look at our marketing roadmap, you will see that I've put in a few examples in which to show you how to use this. If you are using this for the first time, you can click these three buttons and delete the actual cards that are in there and start afresh by just doing new and coming up with your own campaign. But let's just look at the ones we've got for an example. Now this product launch campaign is one that I've programmed in to show you how this product works. This marketing roadmap overview is your main home. If you look into here, you can write out the key things that you need to know for your campaign, the concept, your narrative and story, and your key objectives. Because you need to know who your audience are, I've built in your buyer personas here that you can build out into this key card. Notion works by filtering out things that are only attached to each card. I have created the formula for you so that everything that you open is specifically launched to this campaign. And when you open a different campaign, you will see that it doesn't have the same entries because they are linked and bespoke made for one entry. So when you come to build out your campaign, you want to add in the information here, add in your buyer personas, and then put in success metrics for that campaign because what gets measured gets managed. Go through and add in any KPIs that you have that you are wanting to drive from this campaign. Do it in this one page. If you want it to be easier, you can make this full screen so you can see the whole of the product campaign in one place. So go through and add in your metrics. Then you want to plot in what is actually happening within your campaign. Your tease, your launch, your email, your social post. All you do for this is you add in by hovering over till it turns into a plus and putting in the next thing. So after this, we will probably do follow up on social. Change each of your format fields so that you know exactly what it is. So when you're looking at it, you can see what's happening, where it's going. You can do this for as long as it takes to get through your campaign. You might want to do an influencer post as well. So spend some time adding in all of the parts of your campaign to this one page. 
This page is your absolute Bible for everything happening with marketing. So you've got your overview, your narrative and story and key objectives, you've got your success, and then you're doing your planning. You're plotting in what you're going to do across that campaign. Now, if you are new to marketing, watch my video on how to plan a campaign because it talks you through exactly what you need to do. Remember, this is a tool that supports what you're doing and grows with you. If you've watched my video, you'll know that the next thing you need to understand is your content. So you need to make sure you're staying on top of your content. If you're a small brand, if you're a startup, you might have an external team. If you are doing this for yourself, still put it through this board because it means that what gets measured gets managed and you can stay on top of your tasks. But from your campaign plan, you will know what kind of content you need. So as you see, I've got a tease, I've got a launch, but also I will probably need some email graphics. Add in your category of what you actually want. So I will need a bit of a photo shoot for that and I will need some images. What channel is this gonna go on? Well, this is actually gonna go on my email. So I'll add in an email so I'm on top of that. And if I'm looking at the delivery date, if I'm emailing to subscribers on the 7th, I probably need this before that. So I'll probably need that this week. As you can see, as a marketer, you can just live within this one card. Your entire campaign can be planned out with this one card. In this, we have the option of tags to add in different things around, whether it's a product launch, whether it's go to market, whether it's just a brand campaign. We have accountable. If you're a small brand, you might be having someone else work on this. If it's just you, just put yourself. We have the channels that the launch is going to be across. You can add in your channels. And we also have a roll up so we can look at when the content is actually launching. So as the person running the campaign or requesting the campaign, all you have to do with this template is make sure this card is filled out with all the information for your marketing campaign. So that's the start. That's where you build your actual campaign within this card of this big view. And what's fantastic about Notion is that all of your project management sits underneath this. As you see, as we go through to the different views, we now have a different snapshot of where each of those campaigns is at. Up here, we have the dates that they're launching, but down here, we're looking at what are we not started, what's in progress, what's awaiting sign off. This is a way that you, as either the only person running this campaign or someone managing a small team, can keep on top of where everything is in terms of status of each product. My product launch campaign, we're using an example, is just in progress. To move this, all I do is drag and drop when all the work has been complete so the person running the whole marketing department can see where we're at. Moving down, we have our production requests. If you're a small brand or a startup, you might have a freelancer working on this, you might have another team. This is where they can just cut through that noise and look at what is happening. Going through what's come into the inbox, working on what's moved into ideation. Okay, it's moved into ideation, what's now in pre-production? If email graphics are not needing ideation, it's now in production. This is for your production team or you, if you're doing this by yourself, to keep on top of all of the assets that lead into that main campaign. If you look at this board as well, you can show yourself different categories. So you can see which project it is. You can, it's divided by the product launch campaign, by the other example of campaigns. You can also see what category, what channel, and who is owning it and who is requesting it and what status that is actually in. So looking at this, you can manage the whole of your content production. Moving down, we have a launch calendar. If you are a small brand, you will probably have several campaigns on at the same time. So this is a good way to keep on top of what is going out across your calendar. This has a start date and an end date. This is the beginning view of that calendar that we filled in that we know what's happening with our campaign. As the main field of this is the campaign date, this is looking at when that campaign is going to run from. That date is shown in this calendar so that we can see when all of this is happening. This product is going to be launched from the 9th and the marketing campaign is going to continue. From this view, you can also add in new campaigns. If you are looking at this and thinking, I need a bit of a build up, you can drop in a brand campaign here that will span up until your launch date by just adding an end date and it will sit on top so you can see exactly what it is. What's great about Notion is every view is different but also related to the same database. So you can go into here and you can build out this campaign from here and it will show up across the rest of your views. So this is great as someone getting a bird's eye view on what's going out across the whole of your marketing. Moving further down, we have the campaign timelines. So this is looking at what's going on across all of your tiny activations. Now this is fantastic because what we sometimes get, especially in small businesses or startups, is a lot of noise and you're not quite sure how to overlap that or how to get the direct messaging. 
With this view, you will get to see every single piece from the campaign card across different campaigns. This is all pre-plotted with the product launch campaign that we used in an example. But if we head up to this brand campaign that we've just put in and add in in live time, we want to do a brand campaign, we want to do a social post tomorrow and say on top of that social post or just after that social post, we want to follow that up with a webinar so people can get to know our brand better. When you come down to look at this view, you will see that that has snuggled into the whole timeline. You as a marketer can keep an eye on all of your outgoings by campaign, but this gives you a view of everything that's going out for your brand across your channels. This means that you can prioritize, you can move things up, you can move things down. You can then also go into things and delete or deprioritize them because you know that it's just a bit too noisy. Having this overview of all your campaigns is super helpful if you have a small department and you're keeping on top of a lot of outputs or if you're doing this by yourself and you want to make sure you're not creating too much noise on a channel. In the same way, when we look at all of our cards with our production requests, we want to make sure that we're not doing too many pieces of content on one channel. Our production requests that are linked to each card show up in this calendar so you can see what is happening and what is being delivered from your production team and make sure that you're still project managing that. And then the most exciting thing. One of the best strategies for any marketing department to be excellent is to actually track what is happening. I have built this so that you can use this database as you grow as a brand forever. Most small brands fall down by not having proper data and tracking because they think it's expensive and unachievable. This template will build your data and tracking for you if you use it properly. As with everything that I've built, it's all interlinked. So all you need to do is focus on each campaign as a whole and this template will populate itself for you. As you see, with the example, I've already put in success metrics for the example product launch campaign. But if we go back and we look at that brand campaign that we've put in and we put in that actually from this, we want the result of audience growth. We want new followers. We want reach and impressions. And we want no churn on social. So these are the things that are really important for us to track. This is how we know this brand campaign will be a success. These bits of data will show up here. So you will be able to see everything that you're working on as an entire department in one place. As you build out these campaigns, make sure that every single thing you're doing is annotated in Notion so that you can get better data. You can understand what's happening. The more you use this template, the more intuitive it becomes and the better your marketing gets. As a final little cherry on top of the cake, we also have this space for your personas. Subscribe to my channel and find out why knowing your audience is the most important thing you can do. But this template has a space for you to build out exactly your audience. Knowing what your audience cares about, what value you're driving for them, will make your marketing campaigns even better than anything you've ever done. By being able to put this in a centralized place that anyone can refer to, you will also be able to make better decisions. So adding a new buyer persona is easy. You click into here, there's a template built out for you. All you need to do is delete and update the information in here to reference to your buyer persona. And this will sit forever in your options of who is in your audience that you are trying to get when you then go all the way back to the top, remember starting at the top of this overview and build out a new campaign, your new buyer persona will be here so you can see it from scratch and have all that information right at the top. That means that you will understand exactly who it is that you are driving from this. You will be able to see information and then from this information, what you'll be able to do is plan that campaign around them so it is the most effective. Now, this is the best template that any marketer will need at any point in their journey. This has been a whistle stop tour, but please do watch this video. Grab my free template. Have a play around with yourself. If you have any issues, please just drop me a message. I have built entire marketing departments with this template. It grows with you as you grow. All of the databases linked together, the way I've built it out means that you can run all of your marketing campaigns from this, learn as you go, build as you go and do excellent marketing. It gives you the tool that creates the foundations on which you will build your multi-million dollar marketing department. So please grab your free tool, 
get yourself on Notion. I'm going to be giving you so many free products because I'm here to make your life easier and show you that great marketing doesn't mean big budgets, doesn't mean a lots of resource and doesn't mean starting from scratch every single time. It's about being efficient and doing things properly. Please do like, subscribe and stay tuned.